joints, things like that. So that's, that's in two weeks, not next week, sorry, two weeks. And then the other thing, um, the other topic I think is really important is, of course, diabetes. There's 25 million people in the USA that have type 2 diabetes, which is the adult type. There's 500 million people worldwide that have obesity, and they're linked, right? So the two are linked because diabetes is when, of course, we become insulin resistant. Insulin is that material that's released from the pancreas, and we need more and more insulin to regulate our blood sugar levels. If we don't produce enough insulin, our sugar levels rise. This is not healthy for all of our cells in our body, in multiple organs. And in 2012, a study from Chapel Hill showed that obesity directly causes diabetes. When we gain fat, our fat cells enlarge. So when we, we gain weight, we don't get more fat cells. Each cell just gets bigger. But what's interesting is when they get bigger, at a certain point, they trigger an influx of these cells called mast, M-A-S-T cells. There's good and bad. The bad, bad ones come in, and they release a factor that makes us insulin resistant, which can lead to prediabetes or diabetes. So it's not just like, okay, I'm getting a little bit of tired, I'm getting you know, uh, a little bit of fatter. fatter. It's actually much more complex than that. So we need to think about being healthy and, and limiting diabetes. And, and there were studies, as I mentioned, uh, the article in Korea from 2008 on diabetic, type 2 diabetic patients that um, the uh, algae, algae products, like the ones that from cerule, lower triglyceride cholesterol and blood pressure um, and help reverse um, uh, diabetes. So the other point is that diabetes is a low state of, of inflammation. And, and, and you know, kind of don't think about that so much. But so that's really important because cereal products obviously, or not obviously, but are anti-inflammatory. Um, so again, there's two good reasons to be taking the products uh, for, your, for your customers in terms of uh, really trying to minimize uh, the effect of diabetes on us today. So the good news is that Cereal products help reduce those negative effects of those bad sort of chemicals that are released from fat cells and inflammation. Uh, the other good news is that simply, you know, not simply, but reducing caloric intake, you can lower your chance of diabetes as well. So the bottom line is eat healthy, exercise, and take cereal products for maximum benefits to your body. I saw a cool Facebook um, post from cereal uh, uh, in France talking about stretching. Uh, and exercising basically and help it, how that you know, triggers into your mental health, physical health, and also will help uh, if you're taking cereal products, that, that sort of that synergy together. I think that's the, the world of cereal, I think is, is really important, the sort of magical effect, if you will, if you wanna use that term, or um, super beneficial effect of the products um, are gonna go hand in hand with, with, especially today with COVID and people being sick and worried about being sick, it's, 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 a, it's a sign that we really need to be healthier. And I think this is you know, the best time ever to take products uh, that are algae related because of, of what's going on around us. And we're gonna fight infection and COVID better if you're taking products that are gonna boost your immune system, help inflammation, uh, and of course, you know, eating well and exercising. 